Alrighty guys, welcome back. Uh, let's brace ourselves, get our minds and our hearts right. Um, we got a long chapter today, so here we go. Verse 1. Now on the day that Moses had finished setting up the tabernacle, he anointed it and consecrated it with all its furnishings and the altar and it, all its utensils. He anointed them and consecrated them also, which is what we read about in Exodus chapter 40. Verse 2. Then the leaders of Israel, the heads of their father's households, made an offering. They were the leaders of the tribes. They were the ones who were over the numbered men. When they brought their offering before the Lord, six covered carts and 12 oxen, a cart for every two of the leaders and an ox for each one, then they presented them before the tabernacle. Then the Lord spoke to Moses saying, accept these things from them that they may be used in the service of the tent of meeting and you shall give them to the uh, Levites to each man according to his service. So Moses took the carts and the oxen and gave them to the Levites. Two carts and four oxen he gave to the sons of Gershon, according to their service, and four carts and eight oxen he gave to the sons of Merari, according to their service, under the direction of Ithamar, the son of Aaron the priest. But he did not give any to the sons of Kohath, because theirs was the service of the holy objects, which they carried on their shoulder. Verse 10. The leaders offered the dedication offering for the altar when it was anointed. So the leaders offered their offering before the altar. Then the Lord said to Moses, Let them present their offering, one leader each day, for the dedication of the altar. Now the one who presented his offering on the first day was Nashon, the son of Amminadab, of the tribe of Judah. And his offering was one silver dish whose weight was 130 shekels, one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one gold pan of ten shekels full of incense, one bull, one ram, one male lamb one year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, five male lambs one year old. This was the offering of Nashon, the son of Amminadab. On the second day of uh, Nathaniel, uh, the son of Zuar, leader of Issachar, presented an offering. He presented as his offering one silver dish whose weight was 130 shekels, one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels full of incense, one bull, one ram, one male lamb one year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, five male lambs one year old. This was the offering of Nathanael, the son of Zuar. On the third day, it was Eliab, the son of Helon, leader of the sons of Zebulun. His offering was one silver dish whose weight was 130 shekels, one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, one male one year old for a burnt offering, one male goat of a sin for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, five male lambs one year old. This was the offering of Eliab, the son of Helon. On the fourth day, it was Eli Eliezer, the son of Shadur, leader of the sons of Reuben. His offering was one silver dish whose weight was 130 shekels, one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels full of incense, one bull, one ram, one male lamb one year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, five male lambs one year old. This was the offering of Eliezer, the son of Shadur. On the fifth day, it was Shal Shalumiel, the son of Zerushidai, leader of the children of Simeon. His offering was one silver dish whose weight was 130 shekels, one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels full of incense, 
one bull, one ram, one male lamb one year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, five male lambs one year old. This was the offering of Shalumiel, the son of Zerushadai. On the sixth day, it was Eliasaph, the son of Duel, leader of the sons of Gad. His offering was one silver dish whose weight was 130 shekels, one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels full of incense, one bull, one ram, one male lamb one year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, five male lambs one year old. This was the offering of Eliasaph, the son of Duel. On the seventh day, it was Elishama, the son of Amihud, leader of the sons of Ephraim. His offering was one silver dish whose weight was 130 shekels, one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels full of incense, one bull, one ram, one male lamb one year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, five male lambs one year old. This was the offering of Elishama, the son of Amihud. On the eighth day, it was Gamaliel, the son of Ped Padahuzar, leader of the sons of Manasseh. His offering was one silver dish whose weight was 130 shekels, one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels full of incense, one bull, one ram, one male lamb one year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, five male lambs, one year old. This was the offering of Gamaliel, the son of Pedahazur. On the ninth day, it was Abidan, the son of Gideoni, leader of the sons of Benjamin. His offering was one silver dish whose weight was 130 shekels, one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels full of incense, one bull, one ram, one male lamb one year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, five male lambs one year old. This was the offering of Abidin, the son of Gideoni. On the tenth day, it was Ahizir, the son of Amishadai, leader of the sons of Dan. His offering was one silver dish whose weight was 130 shekels, one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels full of incense, one bull, one ram, one male lamb one year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, five male lambs one year old. This was the offering of Ahizer, the son of Amishadai. On the eleventh day, it was Pagiel, the son of Akran, leader of the sons of Asher. His offering was one silver dish whose weight was 130 shekels, one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels full of incense, one bull, one ram, one male lamb one year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, five male lambs, one year old. This was the offering of Pagiel, the son of Akran. On the twelfth day, it was Ahira, the son of Enan, leader of the sons of Naphtali. His offering was one silver dish whose weight was 130 shekels, one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels full of incense, one bull, one ram, one male lamb, one year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, five male lambs, one year old. This was the offering of Ahira, the son of Enan. 
This was the dedication offering for the altar from the leaders of Israel when it was anointed. 12 silver dishes, 12 silver bowls, 12 gold pans, each silver dish weighing 130 shekels and each bowl 70. All the silver of the utensils was 2,400 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary. The 12 gold pans full of incense weighing 10 shekels apiece, according to the shekel of the sanctuary. All the gold of the pans, 120 shekels. All the oxen for the burnt offering, 12 bulls. All the rams, 12. All the, uh, excuse me, the male lambs, one year old with their grain offering, 12. And the male goats for a sin offering, 12. And all the oxen for the sacrifice of peace offerings, 24 bulls. All the rams, 60. The male goats, 60. The male lambs, one year old, 60. This was the dedication offering for the altar after it was anointed. Now when Moses went into the tent of meeting to speak with him, he heard the voice speaking to him from above the mercy seat that was on the Ark of the Testimony, from between the two cherubim. So he spoke to him. All right, so I think the significance of this is how detailed and organized God is, how he kept the tribes of Israel in order, and how at times they were very obedient to God at um, at certain certain points so may we learn from that that uh, obedience leads to order and and following god and um join me tomorrow god bless you take care